Hello friends, in this session we are going to install the git uh, in the Jenkins server which is currently running on EC2 instance. So if you don't have seen the installations of Jenkins on the EC2 server, you can, you can refer to my previous video in the you know, DevOps topics playlist. So we have a Jenkins server, the EC2 instance is running. Uh, for the Jenkins server, so let let me connect uh, to this. Uh, so I will copy the public IP, and I am using Mobile X3, so that uh, you don't need to uh, you don't need to uh, generate the PPK by using the PuTTY. You can uh, put the PEM file uh, as it is. So. I can just uh, you know, use the, uh, the private key and uh, as it is a EC2 Amazon Linux machine so I am using EC2 for user ok so let me connect ok so I connected let me increase the font as well so that uh, we have the clarity Okay, so you, know, you can see that um, you know, I connected to the uh, Jenkins server and uh, uh, let me connect to the web as well. Okay, I'm using the same and you know that it's running on the port 8080. Okay. So this is the Jenkins. I actually I previously in, you know, logged in into this, so this way it will not ask me to provide the password. But uh, let me do a logout, and uh, I changed uh, uh, the password in my previous session. So I am using the changed one. Okay, this is the first screen, and um, uh, this is my first job that I ran, ran in my previous session. Okay, so now. Let's change um, it to let's change the first one. The, you can see that um, there is one uh, IP is appearing, so we can't identify it as a Jenkins uh, host. So change the host name. Okay, so uh, and I must um, uh, use the root for to change it to sudo as you. And then I used uh, the host name as Jenkins, and it will not so because uh, we have to log out. So exit and just do the sudo again. So you can see that the now IP is not displaying here. You uh, you were just logging with the root user and the, in the Jenkins server because I changed the host name. So clear the screen okay so now my uh, step is to install the Jenkins so for this I am using the command yum install uh, sorry uh, git in the Jenkins server so I am using uh, git So the git is now installed on the Jenkins uh, machine and uh, now I am jumping to uh, the web of the Jenkins to just uh, integrate with the Jenkins and provide all the details so that it uh, get integrated with the uh, git. So I am clicking here to manage the Jenkins and here you, we have to manage the plugin because uh, currently I didn't uh, install any plugins because it's not required now it's required to install the git uh, uh, hub plugin so the, this is this section is about if you installed any plugins previously and some update has been released you can find it under this uh, particular tab and the available uh, will uh, give you all the plugins which is managed by the Jenkins. It's a list of all the available plugins and installed. If you have in installed any plugins previously, it will list and let you know about which um, uh, plugins you already installed. So I didn't install any plugin. So I'm going to available and here I'm going to search for uh, GitHub. Press the enter button. Okay, 
so it will uh, give you all the uh, plugins so i am interested in github only so you can find all the available that is related to will uh, come and uh, just click on the github so it will uh, provide you all the informations you need to select uh, if you want to do, uh, see the details uh, about this you can go through the public plugin details and uh, uh, i'm just uh, checking and install without restart So this will install all the dependencies, binaries, which supports uh, for this uh, plugin. So it will um, take some time to get it installed. Uh, it will take um, at least uh, one minute to get it installed for the, all the supported binaries. So you can see that uh, it's uh, not only the GitHub, but the, all the binaries that support uh, and the github api and the um, integration related things to the different different um, uh, pro product it's uh, fetching uh, all the binaries and in, uh, doing the installations okay so uh, it's uh, done now i am going to desktop again and here i have to manage the jenkins here uh, we have to provide the path in the same way uh, that we did previously for the java now we will find one uh, git you can see this is not uh, previously appearing because i already did an installation of java jdk so the git uh, was not available in my previous video uh, videos and uh, now I installed the kit so it's asking me to provide the name and uh, the path uh, for the executable so um, we have to provide here the you know, name is as git and the path you have to provide the full path because you, know, you can, can't provide the it as, it as a git because for the latest release it's required to provide you uh, provide the path for this the complete part it's under bin mm, git so let's apply the changes and save it so that's it for the, this videos and in the next videos uh, i will install the maven and uh, uh, we are going, going to uh, uh, integrate with uh, with the jenkins uh, as well and uh, we will run our job so in this particular uh, project, uh, I installed uh, uh, Jenkins on the EC2 machine after that kit and then Maven. After that, we will install uh, Tomcat on a different EC2 machines. And then whenever some update happens in the Git repository, the Jenkins will run automatically because it's, it, will, it will monitor that we will set a clone job for that. So it will uh, monitor say, each of the commits and when he and the Jenkins will find it will run a, a auto job and it will do the deployments on the Tomcat server. So you can um, see your changes very, uh, very fastly that when you did a commit and you will find the jobs gets run into the Jenkins for the, your uh, for your. Uh, commit and if there is any problem with your code, Jenkins will uh, pro provide you all the informations that where in the, in the Jenkins is not able to build the code so that you can uh, debug your code and uh, do the stuff uh, accordingly or uh, or uh, modify your code and then push into the git uh, after reviewing the code. So that's it for this session. In the next session, we will install the Maven uh, in the on the Jen Jenkins uh, on the issue to issue to machine that in where we have the Git and Jenkins. Uh, so thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe my channel.